I've created a circuit here on my breadboard that uses a shift register and the shift register to the shift register I've connected some buttons this is the uh, clock button the latch and the data line and when I push those buttons it triggers the uh, the appropriate pins on the shift register and then I've got eight output LEDs over here all of this is right now just getting power from the onion omega which is hooked to power through this battery basically uh, through USB. Um, if I put in a, uh, a bit in the shift register, so hit data, hold down data and hit the clock, that'll shift a bit into the register and then if I latch it across it'll light up my output LED. And if I put in um, say eight bits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I latch them across it lights the whole thing up. And then I can do things like add patterns, um, give it one and then off, one, off, one, off, one, off, and then latch it should be every other LED. So that's working pretty well. Clear that out. Uh, I wrote a program in PHP using the Omega and uploaded it into the Omega's memory. Uh, the server in the Omega has it's got a web server built in and if you access the script that's in there it'll it'll run it. Uh, the PHP code will actually control the pin output that I have there. So I have the pin set up. I have pin uh, 0 set up to do the data line. So I'll have that in there and that'll control the button. It'll make it simulate me pushing the button. Uh, I have pin 1 doing the um, the clock so if I put that there, it'll control the clock. And then I have pin 6 controlling the latch. And uh, so that should control the, the entire serial or uh, shift register. Um, I also have uh, pin 7 set up on this button over here so I can um, get input to um, make the script that's running stop. Because it just basically creates an animation on these LEDs. So I have my phone here. And it's set up to load the uh, load the page that uh, the Omega has inside it. So if I just select that and hit reload, it should connect to the Omega and run my script. And there it is. It's running my script and animating things. You can kind of see the uh, LEDs up above the buttons. Um, up above the buttons blink as it was sending data in across. Uh, what happened there is I disconnected the phone so it <laughs> stopped running the script. Let's try it again. Let's leave the phone on this time. But yeah, you can see the, the red LED is blinking above the buttons. That's the Omega, or yeah, the Omega controlling the uh, shift register. And it's just push, pushing all those bits into the register and latching them across to create the animation. And then at any time I can push the button over here and it stops the animation. If uh, you look at the page, it's not focused very well in there, but there's just a button there that lets me restart it, and then I can restart the animation. And it's all happening by the request through the, the little web server that's built into the Omega.